Hello everybody, my name is Stretex and welcome to The Wandering Village. As this game suggests, you are actually making a village on a wandering monster. Oh, is it is monster a third? I want to call it a beast for now until we figure out a better name. So, this game is pretty cool. I actually played it many, many years ago. It's, you kind of have to, uh, you of course, make a village on a giant walking uh, monster here. And it kind of just walks around the w world in its own accord, unless you kind of convince to go otherwise. So you kind of have to just try and survive as a people while also keeping the beasts alive and are just trying to deal with whatever it walks. It might walk into a desert, it might walk into like a snowstorm, you don't know. It, anything could really happen at this point. So, without further ado, let's actually press start new game. I've been lucky enough to be given early access to this so I can uh, have a look before it comes out on I think on the 14th of September. Uh, veteran mode. I'm actually insane, so I feel like veteran mode is going to be the most fitting mode for my personality. I just say, the world is a harsh and unforgiving place from uh, the very beginning. Survive by any means necessary. Recommended for experienced players. Well, that's not me, but we'll be fine. Uh, also, to make it even worse, I'm going to call this save What Can Go Wrong, just to make sure the game knows to give me the worst luck possible when I'm playing this. So, also as well, it looks like you can do some custom difficulty, which is pretty cool. Um, like I am my man mode, villagers do not die, Anubu does not die, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to pick any of that though, because uh, <laughs> it'll be a bit of a disaster probably. Go. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Leather. This is where it starts everybody. Veteran mode, he starts eating everybody like, oh no, there was a hundred of us. Only 16 survived onto the thing. So, here we are everybody, here we are. As you can see, we are firmly living on top of a creature called Anobu, which I think looks absolutely awesome. I kind of wish I can zoom in. Well, I can kind of. <gasps> Let me see you. He's so beautiful. So, this game is, like I said, kind of like a symbiotic colony builder. Like, you have to try and maintain your own people while maintaining this fella down here. Now, you can kind of see that he has, like, poison levels, hunger, sleeps, and he's currently sleeping to get stuff off. It's pretty cool. And as, as you go on, you go to a world map, you can see he kind of just wanders around. You can kind of send out parties later on if you get the correct buildings, like, scout locations to get resources. And, like, as you go along as well, he may find stuff like he, there's, here's a bunch of food you can just eat, or like here there's a nice sleeping spot for him. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, without that though, let's actually start playing the game, shall we? I'm going to start building some stuff. Let's see. I'm going to probably stick on this part of the map because it's green, right? <laughs> if I'm going to live anywhere, it's going to be in a nice place. I don't live in this weird, deserty, rocky place. Screw that. So, we have 16 people. And I'm going to make some houses in first. So if we just go and get put down some storage locations and whatnot. You can kind of see already there's quite a few tabs of stuff you can build. Now I will say right from the start that this actually is just what you've unlocked at the start of the game. As you go on, you get research benches. You can unlock a lot more buildings that do a lot more. For instance, like right at the start, there's literally no real resources to even build. Or like Anubu interaction, stuff like that. But anyway, let's stop playing. Now, I'm going to immediately build some tents, because these tents house two people. So if we build quite a few of them, we should be able to get enough land for everybody to have a house. But I've got to say, would you want to live in one of these? It looks absolutely awful. <laughs> but it's, it's okay. I've got to say, I do really like the like, art style, though, because um, these guys are pretty adorable, if you ask me. <laughs> Look at, they're, so, they're so cute. Oh, everyone's cutting down the trees. Wait, I think I've heard this song before. Is this the Rue Sandstorm? I like how they've all just immediately started working and doing stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So, I'm going to just put down some buildings here. So, we've got quite a few. We probably want to get storage sorted out right away. Let's just build some water tanks and some pantries. Uh, one of them does water. One of them does food, of course. And also, it seems you can do a worker's post that lets you have specialized or like just general workers in a building itself. And research allows you to, of course, do research. I'm going to put down, let's put down two of these, because I like doing research, everybody. We are going to be the tech race. <laughs> we will technology the, the, the tech out of this game, everybody. It's going to be great. Also, I want to put down a worker post, because I, I quickly saw there, it said, Use to manage workers. Make them specialize as transporters, harvesters, or builders. Workers gain a small movement boost. So if we're going to have people do it anyway, why not make them in a worker post? So we'll put that down somewhere, probably over here. And of course, we're probably going to need some food. 
So I would imagine people need to eat food because we're not Super Saiyans. Um, actually, do they even need to eat food? Or are they just hungry people? I don't even know. It does all seem that you can build air wells that automatically extract water from the air, depending on humidity. Berry gatherers. Ooh. Efficiency. Interesting. I wonder if it lets you... Ooh, this place is pretty awesome. Okay, let's build a... um. Let's build a berry gatherer here. Because 63% I think is pretty handy. I'm not sure you can actually put down berries. I think they're just on the map already. So I think that's probably a really good place to actually put that down. Because I'm not seeing anywhere else on the map that had more berries. No, we've already got the optimal berry location, everybody. <laughs> optimal berries. Excellent. Oh, what's this? Choose your research. Pick one of the two recommended techs. Or I can just do what I want, game. So screw you. I'm doing my own thing. So you can kind of see this is the research tree. It looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like at some point in the game, I haven't got this far yet, of course. Because last time I played was in a demo in February. There is like, when you explore the world, you can get knowledge points that let you unlock different tiers. Like these require some kind of external knowledge, where these can just be done whenever. So you got three tabs, village, resources, and you also have Anubu stuff, which is like getting horns to try and get it to do f commands and whatnot. It sounds pretty cool if you ask me. So I'm going to be going for kitchen first, because it lets you process food. Uh, for the villagers, which I think gives them like a buff to happiness and like uh, work speed and everything, so it's pretty handy to have. And after that, we're going to go for Doctor, because I just really want to make sure <laughs> we don't die horribly. I don't know what Anobu's going to walk into. He might walk into a poison cloud, everyone starts dying. So we want to try and avoid that if we can. And after that, we just probably get Scavenger Hunt. And I'm also going to queue up the Hornblood. That's going to be it for now. I'm only going to do those uh, few things. I don't want to go too far ahead. So also with two benches, uh, so benches, <laughs> with two buildings, we should get like quite fast research speed as well. Okay, I also like, it's pretty cool. When they get a job, they kind of change their uniform. So these are the researchers. They got a giant brain, as you can see. Just joining the building, they, they grain, <laughs> their brain mass expands dramatically. It's insane. Uh, we also got a pantry being built and other stuff. Now I actually need to designate the game to give me some resources. Um, let me just do all this. That. So, as we are at a point where I have no, like, passive generation with, like, resources, I'm going to just have to tell them to go and collect stuff. So, if we just save them just to cut down all the trees here. Ooh. Are they going to cut down the berries? Let's be careful here. Let's do, um, harvest trees. Let's do all the ones in the area. You'll be fine. And I guess as well, we're also going to need some rocks. Let's just grab the... What are these? A newbie spike can be harvested but reduces trust. Well, I'm not. That's a horrible. Is that part of him? Wait, are these all part of him? No, boulder. No. These are the normal rocks or not. Good to know. I don't really want to hurt his trust because he might just do like a roll. <laughs> Imagine if he's like, I'm going to do a roly poly and kill everybody on top of it. So we just make them go and harvest some stones. It's all quite far away, isn't it? We're not exactly in the. Uh, let's just harvest up here then if it's all far away. I can see little balloons to show that they're trying to harvest that location. Okay, things looking okay. So of course right now we've got a little warning sign saying we just flat out do not have the materials to build these things. So our guys are already running around collecting stuff though, which is pretty cool. Trying to get, let me look at you sir. They're very synchronized aren't they? I feel like this is a professional woodcut cutting team. They must have been part of the Olympian team for woodcutting. Do you reckon that was ever a thing by the way? <laughs> Someone let me know, is there competitive woodcutting? I would love to know. I know the Scottish have uh, competitive uh, log throwing, where they just randomly walk around with logs and throw them everywhere. Uh, that's why they serve north. <laughs> Those crazy Scotsmen and their weird logs. Anyway, apart from talking about Scotsmen. So, let's see. We are starting to get some new materials and stuff. Water! Everybody, I forgot about water. <laughs> it's pretty important. Um, I guess we just want a little harvest zone, do we? Let's just build some here, I guess, for now. I'm going to build two, just in case it's like one's not enough. To be fair, all these only require wood and stone, so it's just raw, raw resources. We just walk around, gather them, that's it. I guess as well, we should also consider making a farm. Now, this place here seems pretty awesome already. It's just out in the open, and there's not really much here. 
in terms of resources or stuff in the way. So I built a farm here. Uh, maybe here. So I'm trying to... I don't want to waste any space, but am I just being a bit too over thing on this one? Too overzealous? Ah, it'll be fine. What, what can go wrong? If it's bad, we can just move it later. Ooh, that's too far. That's too far. Done. Now, there is a lot of resource on this tree, as you can see. We've got different types. We've got berries. We've got growing trees. There's, like, unique ones. Adolescent mother tree. Now, I have... I don't think this was in the demo when I played in February. So, I think this like spawns other trees nearby so we're gonna leave that alone if we can and see what happens and so we've already the spikes and i think as well there's like large resource nodes for future stuff so you've got a giant trunk which can be mined by adjacent sawmill and also the boulder can be mined by adjacent quarry i haven't used any of those buildings yet though so it'll be interesting to see how that works uh, but anyway let's carry on playing we're well, actually building more roads as well It looks like we're mostly just missing stone at this point, though. I don't know if the AI is going to be like, Oh, we've got enough wood. Let's go and get some stone. Or if it's going to build whatever's closest. I'm not really sure. I know some of them are, are going to get uh, stone. Oh, look at this. He's adorable. Is that one of those brick layers that, like, don't move the bricks at all while he's walking? I always find that very impressive. Like, you see the guys that, like, had, like, a... Um a platform on their head or just carry them on their head directly and they walk around with all these bricks. So I'm like, how are they doing that? I can't even like ride a bike, everybody. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, they're, he's loving life. They're so happy. So I think, uh, Bordy, interesting. You will be named. Actually, you know what? Bordy's fine. I think as time goes on, you get bigger as well. You get more uh, needs to the villagers. So right now, the only need they have is just to live in a house. That's pretty much it. That's all they need. But like I said, I'm pretty sure if I get like... Does it say anywhere? Population level basic. Focus idle employment worker. Oh, interesting. It's like a teleport thing. Yeah, anyway, so I'm pretty sure as we go on though, and we get more people, they will require more amenities in their luxurious life living abo above Anubu. Now, also, speaking of him, we haven't been ignoring him. He's, kind of, he's getting a little bit hungry now, and he's nearly at a point where he's got maximum... Uh, restless, so he should start moving again soon. Um, though, do let me know in the comments. Do you reckon this is a boy or a girl? Who really knows? <laughs> I wonder if this is like an adult as well, or it's like a like a small one. I wonder if it's gonna grow in size and get even bigger or something. It's quite interesting. Okay. I, I, oh, that's quite quiet. I just didn't notice. Like, I could hear in the background, like, the, the, the snoring. <laughs> you probably won't be able to pick it up on the video, though. But I think the game looks pretty cool. you got all these, uh... Wait, what's happening? You can kind of see that he, it's moving. Like, as he breathes. You can kind of see as the train moves up and down. <laughs> I, thought we were, I thought he was getting up for a second there, but... Yeah, let's speed up the game a little bit while we're getting these basic resources. Unfortunately, the uh, stone is very far away. Wait, it's happening. Oh, he's woken up. Oh my God. Imagine living on this and be like, oh my God. <laughs> we should probably install some rail railings across the edges here in case we're going to fall off. And off he goes. He or she, who, know, who really knows? Ah, oh, so cool. watching the footprints go down. I guess you can hear it as well. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. So if we look at now, you can kind of see that we are just moving around the world itself. I can even do like a cinematic view here. You can kind of see stuff walking around. So if you actually zoom out to the main map now, you can see he is on the move. So I don't think there's much we can do right now because we just started the game, of course. But um, like as time goes on, there might be like crossroads or stuff we can tell him to do, like to rest here, eat here. He will kind of do his own thing, though, if he's hungry and does he just stop and eat or stop and get uh, sleep or something, that kind of thing. Oh, very gather. Farm. What is this? No plots. Oh, okay. Uh, I assign the entire area. There you go. That's why I was being a bit careful with these berries, because I don't want to accidentally get rid of some. So I guess they're going to remove this berry now. But it's okay, whatever. I'm not going to harvest it anyway. 
I'm trying to look at these. Is there really a speed boost on these? It's really if there is, it's really hard to see. Go on a road. Go on a road. They are moving fast. It's this very minute amount of speed increase. So I guess as we go, we probably should just tell them to collect quite a lot of rocks because they are so far away. It'd be better if we just store a lot of them. Uh, let's get some more being done at some point. I'm trying to avoid all these spikes because I don't know... Of course, I want to live in harmony with uh, Nubu here, so we don't really want to hurt him at all. Or Obu. What? How do I say... Nubu? I don't know. <laughs> it's not a problem. He, he doesn't even understand English. It's fine. I'll just randomly say his name different ways throughout the video. And one will probably stick eventually. I, I gotta say, I do love the graphics stuff though. Like, I like the, uh, like, kind of like, is it sprite based stuff? Everything is pretty cool. It's, it's nice and, like, nice and quaint and stuff. We've got a farmer as well now as well. So, the farmer requires, I think, water, and he's currently planting beets. You can see right there. So, I think it's more of a permanent way of having a food supply, which is pretty handy. Oh, also, we're about to finish our first technology, I think. Which was... What was the first technology? Kitchen. That was it. Make berries, beets, and anubi blood into precious food. Would you eat the blood? Well, go again. Back to the Scottish. <laughs> haggis, everybody. We're having anubi haggis. It's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see. I'm a bit worried about us not having any water yet. But it looks like the game's given us 100 water at the start of the game anyway, though. So we seem pretty good. Uh, let's build a kitchen, as we've unlocked the building for that. Uh, let's put it next to the pantry. Just so it's nearby. And, oh, the worker bench uh, focus finished. So, can I tell who's a worker in this place? This guy is. So, I'm kind of curious to see the sp speed boost. He is faster. Look at him. His stride is unmatched by this random person. Okay, so there's no reason in my mind not to have... Everybody working in this building, if we can. I, I'll assign five slots and five jobs. You can kind of expand it out. The rest we'll leave alone for now, unless we need more water or whatever. Because uh, I don't want to put people on jobs that aren't really necessary. Because we've only got 16 workers. We haven't really got a lot of people available to do work at the moment. I wonder if we eventually can get like backpacks and stuff as well. Let's let you do like uh, carry stuff more efficiently. I like how they just, guys, you didn't, you didn't pick up. What, why are you just gathering and leaving? <laughs> what are you doing? Maybe they're going to bed. Moving the pantry. They're hungry. I see. Interesting. You okay there, buddy? Oh, this must be the food patch. Yeah, we just passed it. Nice. We have the air well. It's actually going pretty fast. So you can kind of see here as well, you can see if it's arid or damp. Of course, we're just in a temperate location, I think, at the moment. This is this regular location. It kind of looks like we're in like a giant cotton field, which is quite interesting. But yeah, as we're in like a generally normal location, it's uh, moving at 100% speed. You can kind of see it, go it can go to like desert locations or damp locations to get worse. I imagine that'd be like jungles or like humid places you can go through. I'm not worried about the resources though. Do they respawn the rocks? That could be quite interesting, because if they don't, then we're going to have to probably start harvesting spikes at some point, which I'm not going to be looking forward to. Pretty well, though. Shame about the uh, speed. Speed, sorry. Shame about the um, distance, so to get to these resources, but it is what it is. You can see at the top left, actually, the resources we do actually have uh, contained like little kingdom already, though. Okay, so, kitchen. Oh, the kitchen requires wooden planks and wooden slabs. So we need to actually make, refine those from these uh, manufactories. Where do I want to put these? Hmm. Okay, let's put some down anyway. I'll put the stone guy... Oh, I don't want to break any of these spikes, everybody. We've got to be careful with the spikes. 
The building's an awkward size. I'm trying to figure out how to fit it into my uh, little bit base here about it being uh, awful. Um, we'll just put, it'd be fine. I don't need to, it doesn't need to be exactly a grid, does it? I can just make it dynamic. Oh, it's snowy. Cold weather. Temporary, uh, temporary temperature decrease might affect growth of your crops for one day. What is this? Short cold snap. Interesting. So let's have a look at our beets then. Are they being affected? Yes. Growth. 60% freezing. Interesting. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Let's put down... Ooh, it kind of fits in here. Ah, okay, we, we found a way. We found a way. Excellent. So is there... I'm just going to do this as a general thing then. Because I just want to make sure we... This may be a complete waste of time. But I'm just going to build a giant road through the map. Just so if they're going somewhere far away, they have like a speed boost. This is probably a complete waste of time. <laughs> but I feel like it might save us at some point in the future. Like I said, we can just delete buildings whenever we want though. We can just, uh, where is the button? You can just get rid of stuff. It's not a problem. How are you doing with workers anyway? Unemployed free. Employed, okay, interesting. So we're going to need more people as well. Now I'm pretty sure you can pick people up on the world map. Oh, there they are, right there. Nomads, a group of nomads looking for a new home. And also, if you had, like, the exploration building, you could probably go to this village and look for people. There's quite a few of them around about. Ruined settlement. Are these actual settlements? One of the few remaining settlements that have not yet been swallowed by poisonous plants. Interesting. They may want to join you based on your happiness. Good to know. So everyone should be happy now, right, though? Yes, everyone seems to be maximum happiness right now. Wait, what's this? Why are you collecting that tree? Oh, it's like a... Oh, trees take up more than one slot on the map. It's a no. Arbiter. They can get started with that, though. Let's just put down... Village Doctor. Very nice. Okay, so we want to plan some stuff out then, don't we? We'll put the Village Doctor... Oh, it's a big building, isn't it? Let's put it here. And we'll also put down the kitchen as well. Oh, I've already done it. Sorry. <laughs> I've done that already. What am I even talking about? It's because it wasn't even finished. Both of these buildings require these slabs and stuff, though. Uh, what we might do to speed things up is literally speed things up. And also, I think we might assign more workers. Hmm. Let's leave it. Let's, let's leave it doing things. We're not really in a rush yet, though, are we? Because there's not really... There's no pollen or anything on uh, the creature. We've got a doctor already. But there is a crossroad coming up. Interesting. Now, of course, unfortunately for me, we haven't got the technology yet to actually use blown her, uh, blowing the horn. So I can't actually try and direct what way it goes. So hopefully it goes in the right way. Looks like north of desert, which might be a bit of a problem. And the south is continuing on the path of just this temperate zone, which I think is probably the best place to be right now. Maybe we can get lucky and finish it in time. Research tree. He's currently researching scavenging hunt. But I don't think we're going to make it in time. But oh, well, it's fine. What is this? Storage full. Oh, we got too much water. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Things looking pretty stable. I'm going to build some new houses as well. Because we're going to get some in a second. Let's just put some down here. They're very cheap, so I'm just going to build quite a few, just for future. Uh, nomads want to join your nation. I accept. Plus two. That was not a lot of people. <laughs> it's okay, though. A few more trees. Let's grab all these.
I'm maybe overboarding slightly, I think. <laughs> Being a bit too aggressive with the amount of stuff I'm building at the same time. But we seem to be okay at the moment, though. There doesn't seem to be any, like, pressing issues like famine or anything, so... Good job, guys. Good job. Scavenging hut has been researched. So looks like we can actually build one over here. I think you can build them around the edges of the Unobu to leave the building. So if we just put one... How big is this? Put one here. Or not. <laughs> Give me it. Let me just figure out where to put this. Uh, I don't want to build it too far away. That's what I'm trying to avoid, but... To be fair, they got so much farmland, they can't even use most of it. But then in the future, you may get technology or workers to have it being a full farm. Let's not... Let's build it here. Build some roads to connect it. I guess eventually we might have to get rid of that spike so we can add up this location here, but it'll be fine. Scavenger hunts. Remove trees. I'm going to make this a priority so we can start doing stuff right away. And I think a lot of people are still building that big road. This road may not have been the best idea, but maybe in the future it may cause uh, save us some problems, so... If we go back out to the main map... Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! Well, I'll tell you what, everybody. I think it chose the best option. <laughs> we get to dodge a uh, lightning storm there, which sounds pretty crazy. What is this? A shrine. An ancient artifact containing hidden knowledge. Okay, so we definitely need to get that building up and running immediately. Uh, which requires planks and... Oh, no! Maximum workers. It, the building um, requires slabs and whatnot, which is kind of annoying. If we maybe pause these buildings, so all the slabs go to what? Actually, do you reckon if I delete this, we get resources back? Okay. I really want to get the uh, exploration thing up and running ASAP. So we get that going instead. Put the fish down afterwards, so there you go. <laughs> There's no wood! Oh no! Okay, um... It's this road. Of course... Wait, actually, if we go back over here... Harvesters. We're making focus on harvesting. Cut down the trees. You guys stop working there temporarily, because there's literally no reason for it. Help me get resources, guys. I'm not sure if switching jobs all the time is very good. I don't know if they get veterancy or anything. I don't think they do. I think the problem is they have to probably travel to the building and change over their clothes. I think that's the issue there. Okay, I think we've got some wood now. Let's put these guys back in the building. Take one of those away. They seem, they seem pretty slow actually harvesting the resources, I gotta say. Sorry, uh, refining the resources. Oh, is it? Oh, it only happens when they're in the building. Oh, he's sitting. Oh, he. Oh, wow. no, I'm not surprised. He's very tired. So we're now in an arid, hot climate with no ground up to the sea. Oh my god, <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> This is perfect though, because it gives us more time to get the building up so we can actually go and look at those uh, technology, which is pretty handy. What is this? Oh, it's just a graphic thing, fair enough. There's loads of places we can look here. Unfortunately, we kind of walked past those settlements that were actually inhabited. So we might have been able to get some new followers, but at least we can get the shrine knowledge and stuff. Cool. I like how the environment changed as well, if you look out, because now we're in a desert, which I think is pretty awesome. Horn blower has been researched. Excellent. Okay, so. G 
kitchen doctor resources dung there's a lot of stuff we need to do here so i know for a fact from when i play in the um demo many many months ago that if you get pollen it will start taking over the back it would be it's toxic and it kills people and it starts actually spreading around the back of a nobu so i'm gonna go for a decontaminator which helps uh destroy toxic plants but it requires apparently biogas or bile as fuel so we're also gonna need to make sure that we research uh oh wait that one we also need to make sure we research bile extraction from the gallbladder which sounds disgusting and also it seems you can get fertilizer interesting so we get both of those as a backup and after that i think we will go for food stamp provides food for various different areas huts more efficient housing and we we'll go from there it looks like you can also get more crops as well which wheat would be a good one to get so you can just get bread nice okay guess i know I'm surprised how many resources we're going through. Let's also switch these guys back to general workers because they were only harvesting. So make, make sure they're... Uh, you're not harvesting that rock, are you? No, you're not good. Oh, is this tree growing up? Still growing. I see. We'll get there one day. Okay, one more stack of wood and the, uh, uh, planks and we should actually be able to start scavenging them, which would be pretty awesome. We're sending them out right away though, because we want to make sure we get cool stuff there. Oh, one of that. So I think he sleeps for a long time, so we should have a lot of time here to actually get stuff sorted out on our little base. Nice! Oh, oh we haven't got enough people. Um... Let's put these guys back down to one each because we kind of got through this speedy bit. Full staff has been done. Open map. So, go and get this first. Send party. Estimated time, 13 hours. So how does this work? Do they physically leave the base or is it kind of like a... Uh... How are they getting over there? So apparently they've left. They're just there already. Okay, fair enough. I can't really like to, if there's a way like they actually like left the mountain or something or mountain. <laughs> they actually left Anubu or something like they climbed off or they like gliders and they kind of like jumped off. That'd be pretty cool. Reminds me of a game called um, Airborne Kingdom, which had that kind of thing. Uh, <gasps> there's no water generation here. We've only got 16 left. Oh, wait, water used for planting crops. It doesn't say anything about them used for drinking. So maybe it's not a factor. Also, we can't help but notice right now we are very low on food. It's actually quite worrying. Is that guy starving? Okay, we need to increase food production then. Uh, let's get some additional workers over here. Yeah, we've got to be careful with food. Well, if it's sad, I've put more people down anyway. So I should, hopefully that will help us out. I guess as well we can do a manual gather of a bunch of berries. So it looks like I can just do this. Oh, I'm a bit concerned about how that's going to work. Let's put this in maximum priority. And I'm pretty sure it won't be deleted. It'll just be harvested, right? It is gone. Okay, is that the wrong command that we're using? Let's get rid of this. Are there only fully grown objects? Hmm. Reproduction. 63% efficiency. Do these spread out then as time goes on? Is that how that works? We will figure that out. Regardless, what we do then, I'm going to do a little experiment because I'm not exactly sure how this works. We are going to harvest these. I'm going to leave one alive and I'm going to see if it spreads itself out over time. Just so we know. How's the uh, thing going? Oh, they did it! Oh, scavenger party returned. They brought back one knowledge. Which means 
Wait, they brought back one knowledge. That suggests that you don't learn a level technology, you use knowledge to research a specific thing. So we would, we would have one available and we spend one to get windmill and it goes away. I think that's how that works. So I wasn't sure because some games have like a tier system where like you are now tech level one or something like that. So then you go through that way. E contamination. We're not going to build that yet because we haven't even seen any toxic plants yet, but they are going to be somewhere. Uh, let's send out more exhibitions though. Can I queue them up maybe? No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. Also, I like how he went to sleep and there was literally a bed right there <laughs> he could have gone to sleep on, but it's fine. We have to keep an eye on the um, continual this. We have to make sure we're always doing something with the exhibition team. What does this mean? No water. Oh, that is a big problem though. This is 0% speed. Oh! <gasps> ah! An oasis. I guess we go, we're sending there next. They might be able to collect water so we can carry on getting food. But without food right now, we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble, I'm going to say. Ah. You encountered a group of settlers. Yes. Plus two again, very nice. Send to Oasis. That might be a reason that we try and get... Oh, Hornblower. We try and get the research store earlier, which was cactuses, which I presume... Learn how to grow cacti at your farms. They are alternative water source in hot climates. So if we get a problem with water, we can just throw on cactuses and it'd be fine. So put that into the queue. As for our new workers, oh, they're moving. Ice, and off we go. Population level up. Your villagers need to have increased. Check them in the top bar. Ooh, so now we are a camp instead of just nothing. So now we require food quality times uh, two of food quality. I presume that's what the kitchen's going to provide. So we'll see what happens with the kitchen when we get to that point. This seems to me like these always seem to have resources. So I'm actually going to put an extra person here. And I'm going to take one away from there. At least temporarily. Because let's face it, we can't... Oh, they are growing resources though. Either they put these down a while ago, or there's another source of water I'm not really sure of. Ooh. Oh, it's because we got us a water from the scavenging party. Very nice. 35. It's kind of a bit weird having it down here to find when you get stuff from exploring, but... Heat wave, that's not good. Uh, let's go for another oasis, because we probably need to get water from these guys instead of... Our water extractors. What does this need? Kills poison villagers using herbs. Requires herbs. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I don't have any herbs. Plants and harvests mushrooms. It is for feeding a nobu. Okay. Um, is there one for harvesting herbs? Aha! Herbalist. Yeah, let's put this here. I know it's quite close to the base, but I kind of think we don't need a full field yet, do we? So we can, we can probably get away with a smaller field. Actually, let's just put it like... Let's put it here. No, it's next to the mother tree. We'll leave the mother tree alone. I guess we can just fit one in here. It is a farm. Nah, it's not that. Let's put it here. Plants and herbs. Yeah, we need herbs, I think. It's quite important. So we get rid of the doctors for now, because there's literally no reason of them being in here. Do something else. <laughs> there's no point in you doing that job, sir. Uh, let's gather some trees.
Nice. Okay, that's working out. We're still scavenging over there. There's another crossroads coming up ahead. Oh! Something we haven't done, I unlocked it a second ago, was the Hornblower. Let's get that going. Um, let's put like a big thing around here. Can you prioritize this? Because I feel like we might need to do there's a crossroad coming up, so we probably want to say what way to go. But can we get enough planks in time? That's the question, everybody. Oh, wrong button. Oh my guys. Make those planks. I think they make two at a time. They do, yeah. But we got maximum speed. Maximum power. Oh no, 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 no. We don't, we're not going that way. What's this? Hot temperature. Might affect growth of your crops. It does say it affects growth. So I wonder if that means certain crops will grow better in that environment. Oh no, it's gone red. That's not good. Decomposing? Oh no, okay, those beats are doomed then apparently. Doom. We definitely don't want to go... Oh, I don't know, really. I can't see that far. I don't know what the best way to go is. Also, there's another knowledge here we can grab in a second. Grab that. Nice. <gasps> poison forest. The poison has been... It's, it's nearby. We're going towards poison territory now. Born blower constructed. Very nice. Uh, how does this work? I don't know. If we... Reduce this back down now. Someone works here now. Show interactions. Lie down, walk, or run. Interesting. So you can try and like run past a storm, I guess, if you just sprint for it. So just based off the map alone, though, uh, I'm going to go north if we can choose that direction. Oh! <gasps> and nobody doesn't trust your commands. Well... <laughs> Fine! If you want to be like that, go right then. And go left. No! Please! Don't go this way. I know there's a sandstorm as well, but... Oh, no. No! Well, oh well. We need to gain his trust, everybody. He will love me if it's the last thing he does. Oh, people are just doing nothing. They, they are. That's not good. Let's collect some more resources. It does seem that it is actually regenerating, by the way, because we actually harvested all these rocks before, and now there's some additional ones that have appeared. Uh, let's just grab a bunch of them if we can. Scrap, scrap loads, the scrap loads. We got some wood already, but we should also probably queue up some wood as well. Dude's not looking great as well at the same time. We can get this sorted out, but we're still waiting on wooden planks. Unemployed one. This is actually pretty handy. There you go, it's worked out, it's fine. <laughs> I made a transport network. Should I see if I can make him sleep on this? Because it does say here, found a comfy spot to sleep free of any poison. So I feel like if we sleep here, it'd be fine, right? <gasps> Wait, how is it? They're in the middle of nowhere. How would we pass through this location? I don't know. Okay, so lie down, Anobu. On boot. Doesn't trust your command, sits. <laughs> there you go. I like how I did it too early, so he's kind of just not on it completely. I decided it's on boo now, by the way. I'm changing my mind again. 
How many times have I changed the name in one episode? They brought back one knowledge, nice. So I did see... I can't go to them. We need more water then, because we're still in the sand location. But I do want to look at this settlement in case there's survivors. So we can get more workers and whatnot. Should I get a... Uh, I feel like it might be a good idea getting a second scavenger hunt. Uh, hut. Ooh. We are smashing through technology, everybody. We are absolutely smashing it. Uh, let's go for... Sorry, I forgot where it was. Give me a second. How am I this blind? Ah, expiration. Put a second one of those at some point. We must explore the world. It's gonna gonna hurt our oh, herbalist a little bit though, unfortunately. Um, let's just do that. We need some workers here though. Have we got too many workers in another location. Uh, one, one, two, three. We need more people. That's what we need. Whoa! The cross of a head! More people. <laughs> That's handy. This is like a big one. Oh, it's only fully grown! Then we can see what it actually does. Interesting. Fun spots. Are they gonna be okay? <laughs> oh no! Wait, they are okay, right? It says they're still going. They've been abandoned. Those people are moving on the- there were some people here, wasn't there, behind this tree now? Why would you go to a poison forest? We might have to try that at some point. Yeah, these people are moving. Is there a way we can, like, try to get to them or something? It's kind of weird that they're just walking around middle of nowhere, but... Regardless, though, we're about to walk into some nomads in the road in a second. We've... They came out at 21 bread. Nice. That's good. Iron ore. Be handy. Fine sand. Is that for making glass? I'm really curious about this, everybody. We're going to do it for science. We're making herbs now anyway. Um, oh, no, we're not actually. <laughs> I'm lying. We have to see. Oh, I was wondering where everybody was over it. Anobu evacuated its bowels. Can I see it? No. <laughs> we missed the event, everybody. I'm so sorry. Yes. What I'm a bit concerned about, though, is that he's getting hungry and there's not any food spots. Maybe we should consider making fast-tracking food. So, kitchen, feeding trebuchet, and doctor. Let's get those things there. Composty. Crate's dung. Dung collector. That is quite far away, though. Hmm. Interesting. Do that a bit later. So we've got two new workers. One of them's now herbalist, and we still don't have a doctor. Yeah, population's a big problem right now. They brought back 15 wood, but two got poisoned during the hunt. So, if we unlock this building and we have a herbalist, are we going to see how this works? Oh, but there's still no water, though. We haven't got any water to even plant any crops. Oh, that's really fast. Is it because it's closer to us? Interesting. Fourteen hours. I see it's different based on the distance. Also, we're going for a hot spell right now. I think it counts this part of the map. So if we tell him to run, do you reckon he would just do it? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Is this really running? <laughs> he is going faster though. He's he's doing like a, a speed walk. 
Run, Onbu. Run! Full speed! Go faster! Keep going, man! This guy's like, I hate these humans. <laughs> they just keep shouting at me. I'm just trying to walk around here. Oh! Oh! Who's removing a spike? Why would you do this? Who? Where? I made a mistake somewhere. I must have accidentally told him to collect a spike, but I didn't mean to. <gasps> I don't know where I did it. I don't know where I made that mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Or he's running. I'm not really sure. This could be why I was too. Okay, so we now have ourselves... Scavenger hats. I really want to get that working now. So I feel like it's good to getting more resources. So I'm going to reduce research. And we're going to have now two squads we can send out on the world. Um, north or south? There's research over there. Let's grab that. South. He doesn't trust my commands. I got to say go the opposite way I want to go. And then here go that way. Because <laughs> is this... How is this... It's, di it's, di it's, di it's a different biome. But it's... I'm not sure how it's different. They both look sane to me. Look at all this knowledge we have. There's knowledge everywhere. Several buildings have collapsed. <gasps> Why? Oh, a light sign storm that might damage your most fragile buildings. It destroyed all my huts. I'm not it, literally all of them. You know, if you went south, Andre, you could have slept in a beautiful place. But no. Oh wow, making him run really tired him out. Interesting. Maybe just pressing the button five times in a row was not a good idea. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, that was stupid. Oh, the kitchen's available. And they're making uh, berry soup. Oh. It uses three to produce five, but only can make one meal at a time. I see. So we probably want to make a second one immediately as well, so we can try and process two different types of recipes at the same time. Um, we are in the worst place in the world, apparently. It's torrid. It's arid. <laughs> But there's no pollution, though. Run! How am I going to do that? <laughs> While you're sleeping, start running! No, I'm going to let him sleep. He, he ran for us. Why do you need this guy working here all the time if there's, like... Do you know what? We're going to micromanage this guy. Look, there's no point. If we need to do a command, we do a command. Otherwise, this guy can just be working as a researcher. I can't believe that storm broke every single house, but I think one. I think there was one that was still standing. Uh, these guys are ill. Do we not have a doctor? Oh, it's because the herbs haven't grown up yet. But at least the herbs are growing now. Yeah, this water's a big problem though, isn't it? Uh, did we... I know we've been a little bit of time. Have we researched the cactus? No, it's next. So after hut, we'll get that one. So how is the hut better than... Let's have a quick look again. So I thought it said it houses six inhabitants, improves productivity of inhabitants, and offers decent protection from poisonous air. So overall, it seems like a good idea to me. So what we'll probably do after this, we'll probably get rid of... Uh, oh, you can only hold 30 resources here. We are uh, get rid of these huts and we replace them with houses as soon as we can. Though the food is still quite worrying because he's very hungry and we haven't got any food in sight. So we're probably going to have to feed him ourselves. Oh, sorry, while well, I've been messing around here, they finished their expedition. Hut researched. Requires fire planks and phone slabs, uh, which we have neither of. So it's it's equivalent of having three huts in one in terms of population. 
But I'm not sure about the... Let's get rid of some of these. We got, we got excess houses, so it doesn't matter if I'm removing some of them. I wonder if we get resources back from this. We do! Cool. We'll replace a few at a time then, so we don't want to do it in one go. And I might actually leave... No, everybody will have to be living in a house. We don't want to have any subpar housing. But we will also probably build a second storage facility here. And we build the rest of the houses in this location. Oh, have herbs been done? It still says we haven't got any herbs, but it looks like they're nearly finished to me. Oh, it's being harvested. Done. Oh, also, it's been a little bit of time again. Is this finished? Produces saplings that can be collected by tree nurseries. Interesting. So it's like a it's like for a future resource building. So they're being like general trees. Okay, so I guess this place is gonna be pretty handy for the future then for a tree nursery. As there's two right next to each other. Uh we've done this. We're running out of good places to actually scavenge. Oh, the oasis just out of view. Must have a lot of research at this point. Goes. The food is very worrying. <laughs> um, oh, wait, should we try and change command again? Wait, 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 somebody, 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 somebody. Quickly! We need to give him a command. Um, both locations have immigrants, so that's fine. I'm going to go south, clearly, because south looks like the optimal one to go for. Oh, he doesn't... That every, next time, I'm going to say, go the other way, and he's going to be like, no! <laughs> okay, sorry, buddy, your job was useless here. I assigned it to you. He didn't even listen to you. Don't worry about it, man. Just move on. Nice. Okay, second place, beet soup. I want to get that working right away, so we're going to reduce research again until we get a worker. There you go. So this produces uh, berry soup and beet soup. Processed food with increased quality made from beets. So how do we tell the quality of this particular food then? Hmm. I'm not sure, but I guess it's counting because these people have food quality too. Interesting. Oh, there you go. Food quality. 44 out of 44. So is that map people that have eaten high quality food? I think it is. And it gives us a 5% productivity boost. He went so Oh, he ignored my command, but then did what I asked. Okay, whatever. Let's actually try and scavenge pieces that are nearby as well. I know you're starving. Oh, we might be in trouble, everybody. We may be in trouble. Um, you are doing the thing, right? He's got cactus now, interesting. Kitchen is happening now. Mix mushrooms into food, then you use a catapult to feed. So we should probably set up some kind of mushroom gathering, which I think is this guy. It's a bit awkward, isn't it, really, with the distances here, because there's so much cluster. I might have to get one of these spikes, but I'm not really sure I want to do it. Let's build it here. Because in the long term, this would be a good place because it's got so much stuff we can... Yeah, let's build it here. Let's build it here. Hmm. Is there food around here? I really hope there is. Gained 11 stone. Nice. And also, this is the saving graces situation, as we're about to enter a different biome, 
which is actually just there, you can kind of see it coming in, uh, we should start generating water again with these air wells. Now, with recent events, it kind of has shown to me that this didn't store enough water. We had like 100 when we went in, and it didn't last long at all. So I'm probably going to expand out the storage for water. He's really hungry. He is actually sobbing. Um, oh no! I can I can hear your stomach growling. Okay. Um, not good, everybody. Not good. Not good. That's how I think I got the spikes last time by mistake. So we do that. Is there any food on the way? I don't think I can see anything. Plus two villagers, very nice. No, there's no food. We're going to have to do it ourselves as quickly as possible. Oh, the house is finished. Divides potion res uh, poison resistance to residents, plus 20%. Amount of beds to housing quality 2. So if I go over here, I want to see what that plus 2... What does it do? What is the buff, everybody? We don't know. But anyway... This is probably it for the first episode. I'm probably going to play this for a few hours at least. I'll probably do a few episodes, everybody. Um, in the video at some point, there was actually a key, a key for a, the game that flashed up on the screen. You may have already seen it. Um, that is a key for this game. That is a key for this game. They gave me uh, searching keys. I put one in the video. Uh, so yeah, I think it uh, unlocks the game on release day. So uh, enjoy if you are the lucky person that got that key. Apart from that, my name has been Fredex. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.